The man to beat me haven't been born yet. Yeah. Yo, 57 shows and I'm back on the job Had to wait five days to get this fat, ugly slob I'm a worldwide legend, you a relevant goof Your artist Mercules is ten times better than you And you're afraid to be yourself, no testicles, no backbone Finish with the show, you put your spectacles back on What's wrong with being yourself, you trying to change your image Saying I've got hair plugs, what is your brain diminished? With this ski mask acting like a villainy salty I am Brad Pitt, bitch, and this is killing them softly I'm walking in the red carpet, you're stuck in a black carpet Spit nothing but whack garbage, I'm stomping on snacks carpet While laughing, my rap's darkest, I grind till my axe sharpest Let's go to the park, bitch, take it back to the Clark Parkers Next time I'm seeing snack, he's getting cracked in the head You can't kill me, bitch, cause I'm already back from the dead You rap like sticky fingers, but got damage to your brain Only places that you know, Greece, Canada, and Spain Want my spot so bad, you lie awake at night suffering I've won this game twice, and you still ain't achieved nothing What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot with a little preview. Uh, gonna be talking about giants and other artifacts like that. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I'm still looking at right now, so I'm gonna get them up as soon as I can. But uh, check this one out. The giants of old. 30 foot, 6,000 pounds. Noel Reeves found monstrous footprints near Hempsey, Australia. In sandstone beds on the upper Maclea River. One print shows a toe 4 inches long, and the total toe span of 10 inches, suggesting that the owner of the print may have been 17 feet tall. In South Africa, a giant footprint of a woman measuring over 4 feet long has been carbon dated at approximately 9 million years old, pointing to the probability of this being a female. Human-like species foot, proportionally the two-legged being would need to be some 30 feet tall. The local African people commonly referred to this as a highly revered and sacred site. Prospectors working in the Bathurst district, New Brunswick, in the 1930s frequently reported coming across numerous large human footprints fossilized in shoals. Could you imagine Jasper. that shit? Based on the size of these footprints, the people who made them would have Fucking been 20 to 30 feet tall. On Even <laughs> more impressive were fossil deposits found by naturalist Rex Gilroy around Bathurst, New Brunswick. He excavated from the depth of six feet below the surface and found a fossil of a lower back molar tooth. Measuring 67 millimeters in length by 15 millimeters yeah, by 42 millimeters across the ground. Yeah, showed a picture of the guy holding it. Ground. He's holding his hand like this. If his measurements are correct, the owner of this tooth could have been at least 25 feet tall and weighing well over 5,000 pounds. In the Megalow Valley of the Blue Mountains, Australia, Mr. P. Holmer found an ironstone protruding from a creek bank. The deeply impressed print of a large human-like foot was on that stone. The print was that of the instep, with all five toes clearly shown. This footprint measures seven inches across the toes. Had the footprint been complete, it would have been at least two feet, 60 centimeters in length, appropriate to a 12-foot human. However, the largest footprint found on the Blue Mountains was a footprint three feet long, that would represent a giant close to, if not over, 20 feet tall. Now, I have heard ones up to 60 feet tall, and uh, they're just not, they got those hidden. There's ones over 60 feet tall, and Steve Quayle and uh, his buddy there, I forget his name, Tim something, uh, they both believe that they went up. And a lot of other people believe too that they went all the way up to 400 feet, even higher than that. Uh, we're going back to this age. It's a good thing to do, folks. Just go and, you know, look something up. Or just come across something. And go ahead and type it into YouTube. Take one of these Dead Man's Secrets, just type it into YouTube. Dead Man's Secrets, Tantalizing Race. Here's the one with the giants. How to survive, what the elite have planned for you. This one is... <laughs> oh man, this is... it's far. 
star out. But hey, four stars, all of them. I haven't seen them all, but this one killing a uh, paradise planet. I haven't seen that yet, or this one. I've seen this one though. It's fucking free. Let's see what else we got on here. Good one, yeah, folks. <laughs> this is an incredible video. I watched it like six times a couple weeks ago. It's been hurting my head ever since. It's like a knowledge explosion. Get to the just points of it. If you go to any library, you can look these up in any town. You ever heard of shit like uh, the Burning Man Festival, stuff like that? Or, uh, you know, certain Satanist groups or whatever? have these seances or rituals where they try to bring forth the entity, deity, whatever. Uh, well, you know, every opposite, every evil is an opposite, you know, whatever. So, this is, uh, they wouldn't tell you where it's from, I'm pretty sure it's like Egypt, though. And, uh, this isn't a devil. There, it's actually a group doing praise and worship for God. And look at that shit, man. You can see the wings. Should I make it bigger? Yeah, I don't like doing this on a uh, big screen like this because it's a pain in the ass for my recorder and it looks a whole lot different to me. <laughs> So I gotta do a lot more. That's incredible. And there's better ones than that that I've seen. These, these pictures, uh, some of the pictures that you can see here are absolutely incredible. And uh, has this shit around everywhere. Uh, people need to have fucking knowledge like this. Because this is like, it's like something inside your brain fucking more, more fucking knowledge, you know. It's incredible. The answers that are out there that seemingly are, you know, swept under the rug, I think it becomes apparent that 
for some reason, someone doesn't want the issue of giants brought up. And that's why I spent three decades dealing with it. And as you know, the book has got on the front cover uh, a British explorer with two 12-foot giants from Kashmir uh, standing guy, over man. him. Now, again, this was in the late 1890s, yeah, and as early as 1970, in the jungles of the Amazon, there have been actual reports of people running into uh, very shy natives who are in excess of nine feet tall. Yes. <clears throat> I heard not long ago that Steve Quayle said it, and I did a video on it. They they found a living species of giants, like 12 feet tall, in the Solomon Islands. Shit you not, I did a video on it, man. Fucking unreal. How tall do you think the little guy is in the middle on your cover of your... And it's fascinating because, uh, you know, later in the show we get into the mummy issue, but... The... Folks, now you've heard about this, you know, bigger smaller what if they went the opposite direction like you know see how they're going up and it seems like they're getting bigger but it seems like we are getting smaller so back then there were giants but there was us too what if we're going back to giants <laughs> which I think we are and uh, if that's the case, it's, we're going to need a lot of help. Because <laughs> it said that man could not sustain them anymore. So they started eating the humans. <laughs> the point that's fascinating is if you take guys that are all the way up to 36 feet tall, 20 feet tall, the emperor of China had two 15-foot guards, Charlemagne himself, uh, was surrounded by rather large individuals. We have a Roman emperor named Maximinius who uh, was a giant himself. It's his wife. Could you fucking imagine 36 feet tall? Uh, all right. Wow. That motherfucker wouldn't even see you walking down the street. Would not even see you. Uh, bracelet, George, would fit around his thumb. We're talking about people that are, you know, we're talking about people with big egos, big appetites, and incredible strength. We're not talking about the medical situation that you see sometimes on the History Channel where they show giants. And Folks, I don't know if you remember the one I showed you earlier uh, with the bulldozer. It's like kind of like the same, it looks like the same one because they do all these digs the same. But there's a bulldozer back here, and the, his fucking head is bigger than the bulldozer. I think they measured him out to uh, 12, 12 to 16 meters. And how, how long is a meter? Three feet? I don't know. I'm not good at math. Came to about 42 feet tall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. These guys that don't live very long, uh, obviously, like uh, Andre the Giant, who was the wrestler, right. got newspapers in America right, point the words talking about guys with unbelievable strength, unbelievable knowledge, and unbelievable wisdom. On the website, they even show some of the Incan kings, I N C A N, Inca, from the Inca Empire, uh, basically in the museums of Peru that have four to five times the cranial mass of a standard uh, human skull. Look so we're not only talking about... I remember hearing about this for years. Like, my, the easiest way my dad would tell me. He'd be like, because he knew I didn't get it. And he'd be like, picture this. Someone tall enough to hold a full-grown lion like you hold the cat. And I was like, no. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Fuck you. <laughs> this is complete mind fuck, man. Uh, wow. Well.
think uh, I'm going to take a little break. <laughs> Big guys. We're talking about people with incredible intelligence. We're talking about an answer that obviously classical anthropology and archaeology, these guys don't want to deal with this. I think it was David Patrick Childress that uh, coined the word Smithsonian gave. In other words, a, a cover-up of history that's rather uh, pronounced. And when you begin to dig, as I began digging over 30 years ago, you can find out that the reports of, of newspapers in America, of newspapers around the world, interestingly enough, after I did the the last show with Art, somebody went on the website and they sent me a, from Eastern Europe, they've already sponsored a, uh, oh, I guess you'd say an undertaking to go to some of the caves where they found a whole, basically, tavern of giant skeletons. And, well, in, and the New Ancient American, which is a magazine that's put out in America, they found yeah. the most contemporary uh, find in some place in the desert southwest and